Today I'm going to be talking about seven different ways you can make passive income and learn to stop trading your time for money and hopefully teach you some new ways to make money across the clock. This video will cover seven passive income streams and for each of those I will explain and rate them on a scale of one being easy to five being difficult on how hard it is for each income stream to start, how hard it is to maintain and how capable you are of making $100 a month from that income source. Before we get into the seven sources, the term passive income has been thrown around and now has people believing that passive income can just be money made by putting in no effort and time in. Passive income takes initial hard work and continuing to work and maintain that income source by potentially being able to generate income around the clock regardless of if you are actively working or not. Such as, if someone is to make a YouTube video, it would take the initial work to create the video and the time spent building the audience, but once the video is uploaded, the creator no longer has to work on the video for it to bring in income, and it will continue to be able to get views and make money for as long as the video is public. Building solid, reliable, passive income streams will take time and effort, so if you're looking for a get-rich-quick scheme, passive income might not be as easy as you have believed. Keep in mind that you should always exercise caution and ensure you have enough in savings to keep yourself protected for emergencies. And this is not financial advice, and this is just ideas that you could implement to lift your earning potential. The legendary investor Warren Buffett has a great quote of, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you'll work till you die. Even with a great paying, stable job, it will be incredibly hard to accumulate a large amount of wealth and now more than ever, as inflation rises, house prices skyrocket, and everything becomes more expensive. As well as the effect the pandemic has had on businesses and workers, this has proved that having multiple sources of income is crucial in your journey to financial stability. The first is probably the easiest and the most common source of passive income, and that is dividend income. Dividend income comes from investing in stocks and shares that pay a dividend this can be monthly, quarterly, or even semi-annually, all depending on the stock. If you have money saved in the bank, you are more than likely are making little to no money in interest, and definitely not enough to combat inflation. Whereas, if you put that money into stocks and ETFs, you could potentially be earning money off just that capital through compound interest and dividend payments from the money that is just sitting there in your savings whittling away. A great improvement place to invest your money in the stock market is into broad market tracking ETFs. A great ETF to invest into is the S&P 500. The S&P 500 is the 500 largest companies in the United States, so it offers you a wide variety of great companies across a range of different sectors. A popular S&P tracking ETF is SPY or VOO. These both track the top 500 companies in the United States and will pay a dividend each quarter, plus offering you a much less risky investment compared to strictly just individual stocks or ETFs that only track one sector, such as technology. Wherever you live, there will be stockbroker options for you. If you live in the United States, you can use ones such as Charles Schwab and Robin Hood. If you live in the UK, you can use Vanguard or eToro. And if you're in Australia, you can use Comsec or Stake. These are just a few large brokers, but no matter where you are worldwide, you should be able to find yourself a stock broker you like and begin your stocks and shares investing journey. Now to rate investing in stocks and shares and dividend income on a scale of one to five. In terms of how difficult it is to start, I give it a one. Starting your stocks and shares investing journey is pretty straightforward. Yes, you will need some initial money to invest, but getting a brokerage account and investing your money is something anyone can do to start receiving passive income and dividends. In terms of maintaining this income source, it is also a one out of five. Once you have invested the money, you can just let it sit and work for you. Especially if you are invested into the S&P, time is your best friend. Now, in terms of how easy it is to make $100 in a month from investing in stocks and shares, this depends on a few factors. When investing in stocks and shares, you can get gains on the value of your stocks, 
such as the S&P 500, is up just over 22% in the last year. So you can make money passively by investing into a stock and ETF and just letting it grow and gain value. But this way, you will be consistently taking your money out in order to see the $100 a month, which can lead to a broad variety of other problems, such as you'll be missing out on the compounding effect that is investing is famous for creating. And if you are accustomed to paying short-term capital gains tax, if you are not letting your investment sit for over extended period of time. But you can still get paid dividends. So the S&P 500 is a proven over an extended period of time to return on average 10% a year. So to make $100 a month, meaning you would have to invest $12,000 initially to make $100 every month in passive income. But the good thing about investing is the power of compound interest. So the more time your money sits there invested, the more it will grow and the snowball effect will take place. And the number you have to invest to get that $100 a month will grow smaller and smaller. So overall, rating how difficult it is to make $100 a month through investing in stocks and shares, I would give it a three out of five for difficulty. The second way to start making passive income is to start and monetize a business. Starting a business can be quite difficult in the beginning and can come with numerous challenges, such as coming up with business ideas, funding the initial startup phase, and the struggles that come with maintaining and growing a business. You might have seen ads that speak on dropshipping or creating your own website, and they make it seem so easy, but in truth it will be difficult. Saying that, starting a business can also come with many joys, such as the happiness and fulfillment of working for yourself and not just some company, or even creating something that you are passionate about. That could be creating a YouTube channel on animals, starting a podcast with your friends, or even just creating an app. It's crucial to have interest in the business you are creating for more than just a monetary point of view. Creating and maintaining a successful business will force you through a lot of ups and downs, and majority of businesses fail, but that should not stop you from giving it your best shot and stepping outside your comfort zone. Let's say you were to create an app or a software product. This would take a lot of initial hard work, learning to code and creating a software and product. After you have completed the creation of the goods or service, you now have the passive income side. You could either sell the product as a one-off fee or more commonly nowadays, you could as a subscription service. Once the initial work is completed, you have created the service and you have done the work. Now when people purchase it or subscribe, you will passively be making income due to your initial hard work. And if you're lucky, you might even be able to sell the business one day and cash out on all your hard work. Now to rate starting and monetizing a business. In terms of starting it, I will give it a five out of five for difficulty. Starting a business is difficult. It has amazing upside and can grow and massively help in your journey to financial freedom or stability. But it is quite hard and will take a lot of perseverance. Maintaining the business will also have its difficulties. So I rate it at four out of five in terms of how passive compared to active it will be. And in terms of making $100 a month, yes, the style will be difficult and the business will likely operate at a loss, but I will give it a two out of five, as no matter what type of business you decide to pursue, making $100 a month is very reasonable. The third passive income source you could create is through selling a course. Courses are all about providing value. It truly does not matter what type of course you create. As long as you are providing value and are creating a high quality course, courses have seen some bad rep over recent times due to groups of influencers spamming you with ads and promotion for their course, which tends to be a get rich quick scheme to make and steal money off hardworking people. But in truth, courses can be extremely valuable and provide great information from people who have expertise in that department. If you are looking at creating a course, you should find things that you have a level of expertise on and would feel comfortable enough explaining to anyone how whatever you're teaching works, how it could be improved, or any general questions a viewer might have on your topic. You can either sell your course for a set price or avoid charging for your course by using a variety of platforms such as Skillshare, where the customer doesn't have to directly pay for the product, but pays for the service and you get paid by the amount of time or the amount of people that view your course. 
In terms of starting and creating a course, I would rank it at a two out of five. Creating a course is much easier than something like creating a business and anyone can create and upload a course to majority of platforms as long as it meets the quality standards. The difficulty of earning $100 a month from your course will vary based on few factors. The first will be, do you already have an existing audience? Having an existing audience from maybe a YouTube channel or a social page will make this much easier as you will be able to direct more initial traffic to your course and they will hopefully find value in your content and share and revisit your courses. I would rate creating $100 a month of selling your courses at a three out of five in terms of difficulty. Once you have started and created the course, you have put all this time in and your course is now making you some passive income. Maintaining this level will not be difficult at all. You will have to update and modify your course and you will have to check and see how it's going and hopefully your content will grow and get more traffic over time. I will rate this at two out of five in terms of difficulty to maintain this passive source of income. Overall, making a course again, like all passive income sources, will take some initial hard work to create the product, but once that has been done, you'll be able to upload your work, and if your course is quality, the cream will rise naturally to the top. The best content will gain more shares, likes, and engagement, and the algorithm will suggest it to more like-minded people. The fourth idea to making passive income is through affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is when you are selling other people's products, but you are getting a percentage of the sales from those products. A lot of content creators here on YouTube earn a large portion of their income through affiliate marketing. You might see a creator you've watched advertise a good or service as such as a keyboard or a book. And if someone decides they want to purchase that product, use the person's link or code the creator will get a proportion of the amount for the sale. This works great for both parties, both the business selling their product and the creator advertising it. As the business gets the shout out and gets more traction to their product and possibly a sale they might not have got before. And the creator gets their own piece of the pie without having to create and deal with the issues of production and shipping and all the hassles that the business will have to go through. Affiliate marketing can also be great for creators as they can form partnerships with brands that they actually enjoy and use and promote them while getting a percentage and knowing they are ensuring their watchers are getting a good product or service. I would give becoming an affiliate marketer a two out of five in terms of difficulty to get started. All you have to do is get signed up on an associate's partnership. There are plenty out there to choose from. Amazon has the largest and probably is the easiest to get started with. And then you can go from there and find products you believe in and want to promote. To make $100 a month from affiliates is where it gets a little bit more difficult. Selling products and promoting them is easy when you have a large support system of people that trust and believe in you. Meaning, if you already have a platform, making $100 will be a lot easier. If you were just starting off, Getting people to use your link and then purchase the product won't be easy, so I rated a 4 out of 5. Now maintaining this will not be easy as well, as if your content is not getting as much traffic, it means less people will visit and use your links. But if you make content that is not based around the latest news and topics, and is something people will search over an extended period of time, you should see a stable number and so I give it a 3 out of 5 in terms of how difficult it is to maintain this source of passive income. The fifth way you can create a source of passive income is through the sale of royalties. You might wonder, what are royalties? A royalty is a legally binding payment made to an individual or a company for the ongoing use of their asset, including copyright works, franchises, and the natural resources. An example of royalties would be a payment received by musicians when their original song are played on a radio or television, used in movies, performed at concerts, bars and restaurants, or consumed via streaming services. In most cases, royalties are revenue generating specifically, designed to compensate the owner of songs or properties when they license out their assets for another party to use. Let's say you are really passionate about writing, 
and you put a lot of time and effort up front to write this book. Now every time your book gets a sale, you will get a percentage and you will get paid. Royalties is great for creators to sell their product and receive passive income as a reward for the initial hard work. Starting and selling royalties in the beginning will be easy if you already have a product created. Then all you have to do is sell the licensing to whoever you choose to. So for that reason, I give it a one out of five in terms of difficulty for starting. To make $100 a month from royalties will depend on the product you are selling and how much you are charging. Depending on the product or for sale, you might make less sales, but your price might be high. So you easily make a large sum of money. It might just not be in that month. So I rate it a four out of five in terms of difficulty of making $100 per month. Maintaining this passive income source will not be very difficult as you don't have to change the product you are selling. And once the product starts making a reasonable amount of money, it should stay steady. So I give it a three out of five to maintain. The sixth passive income stream you could start is creating a paid community or membership. This one is probably the most disliked or frowned upon passive income sources out of the seven today. Creating a paid community or membership model Again, like affiliate marketing, will require some sort of existing audience or community. To create a paid community or membership model, you will need to provide as much value to people as you are charging them to be a part of it. A way content creators have done this is by releasing their content early to those people, or offering them extra content like behind the scenes, or giving them opportunities to directly interact with their favorite creators. How hard is it to start a paid community or membership model? I would give it a one out of five. It is very easy for you to find a membership platform like Patreon and sign up. But in terms of making hundred dollars a month, it is quite difficult. It requires a very large platform of people who truly trust and believe in you and believe paying you however much you are charging will provide back the same in value. So I give it a five out of five for difficulty but at least maintaining it will not be very difficult. If people actually sign up and pay you, they're very likely to stay and support you for however long you have this running. So I will give it a two out of five in terms of difficulty of maintaining this passive income source. The seventh and final is investing in real estate and receiving rental income. This is definitely the largest investment you can make on this list in order to get your hands on another passive income stream. Creating passive income in real estate usually involves buying a property and renting it out to tenants. Managing rental properties can be an excellent way of earning money. Why is rental income considered passive? That is because the IRS says it is. It's grouped with income streams like royalties and licensing, and it is a good thing for real estate investors because it allows them to avoid self-employment tax. Being a landlord isn't totally passive and requires constant effort particularly if you are getting started. Tenants will expect you to constantly maintain and upgrade your rental property. You also need to invest time researching into your property options before purchasing and advertising your space to new tenants. Before you even think about buying a rental property, you need to do a substantial amount of research in your local area. First, take a look at the rental units that are currently available and use a real estate database this will give you a good idea of how you can reasonably expect to charge and rent. Keep in mind that property amenities, location and size will also influence how much rent you can charge. You'll also need to spend time learning about the laws you need to follow as a landlord. Most states have a maraud housing laws that control what the landlords can do and cannot do. Violating your state's housing laws can land you in some serious legal trouble. For example, Law classifications you will need to study include law governing the landlord tenants relationship, laws against housing discrimination, and laws regarding the eviction process. After you've done your research on your local real estate market and housing laws, it's time to choose a property. Select one that's affordable and in the area where you can charge enough for rent to cover your mortgage if you need one. Research the average cost of utilities in that area where you want to buy if you are using a mortgage loan to buy the property, you should also research current interest rates. Once you find the perfect property, sit down and calculate what you'll need to charge and rent to create a profit. Some things you'll need to account for include your monthly mortgage payment, 
landlord insurance, property taxes, and maintenance and upkeep. After you have calculated your total monthly and annual expected expenses, you'll need to decide on a final monthly rental price. There's a lot more that goes into getting into real estate and turning it into a constant passive income stream. You should ensure that you are doing a deep dive into the property and you're doing your own research. But once you find the right deal for yourself, rental income can be an amazing source of passive income whilst earning equity on your house you own. To get started, I will give this a five out of five. You must ensure that you have the right deal for yourself and it will take a lump sum of money in the beginning to get your hands on the right property. Next, making $100 a month, I will give that a one out of five, especially in this housing market. Worldwide, prices have been skyrocketing, so making $100 a month should be easily attainable. Last is how easy it is to maintain this source of passive income. I give that a one out of five. There are always people looking for housing. Unlike with other passive income sources, such as affiliate marketing, the person doesn't need to buy the product or even buy it through your link, but everyone needs shelter and a roof over their head. Well, these were seven passive income ideas you could look to incorporate to help grow your wealth on your journey to financial stability and financial freedom. Hopefully this video has inspired you to look into creating your own passive income streams and inspired your own entrepreneurship journey and has hopefully taught you the importance of working to not just trade your time for money. Leave your thoughts on these seven passive income streams and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to Business Ventures for more business and financial news and content.